Hey guys, Coach Daniel Hammer at Tennis, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the replacement grip. And that's the grip that comes with the racket, and a lot of times you put an over grip over your replacement grip, but the replacement grip can get worn, and you can see here I've had a lot of over grips over top, and there's some residue there, and it's just time to change this one out. So I'm going to show you guys the best way to change this replacement grip. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rubber band, and I'm going to move it up, get it out of our way. Then I'm going to take some good scissors, and um, I recommend these Klaus titanium scissors. Um, this is just, these are my personal favorite. These things will cut through anything. Um, have these handy in case you need to cut anything under the grip here. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel off the grip tape. And you're going to know real quick if it's going to come off very easily or not. And so as I'm peeling this off, I can see that they use an adhesive sheet underneath it. So the adhesive is coming off the grip and it's going to be on the PU, the mold there on the handle. So we're going to get that off there. And so you can either take that, you can take that tape off or you can leave it on. Sometimes I like to just leave it on, um, depending on if it's on there real thick, or you can go ahead and take it off. Sometimes the adhesive won't stick to the polyurethane thing on there, so you might as well just leave that wrap on there because the adhesive from the grip tape will stick better to that tape than it will to the plastic, to the molding. So sometimes I put them on and because there was no wrap or anything underneath, it would just kind of get loose and peel off. So sometimes you can leave that plastic, that shrink wrap that's got adhesive on there because that's going to hold the replacement grip better than trying to stick it onto that mold. Right, so today we're going to be putting on this Babolat Syntac Pro replacement grip. And so I'm going to open it up here. And when I'm opening it, I'm going to make sure to um, keep track of the grip tape. If you do lose the grip tape, you can always just use electrical tape. It works pretty good. And plus you can get electrical tape in a bunch of different colors. Um, and so then as I'm taking this out, I'm going to make sure I'm going to look at the entire grip before I start putting it on. Because sometimes in the package, it depends. You may think that you're getting a pretty new grip, but sometimes in the store, uh, they may sit for a while and the grips can be damaged, um, especially from age where they stick together um, where the adhesive is. So you want to make sure you look at the whole grip and you're going to notice that there's two ends, so there's the tapered end and then there's the square end. And so the tapered end is where we're going to start and we're going to put that onto our racket. So I'm going to take my racket and if you look on the end of your butt cap here, sometimes you're going to have a notch um, where you can slide the grip underneath that little notch. That's what that notch is for. A lot, most Wilsons have that. There's a little notch there. You put the, the uh, taper tip underneath that and then you start. This Babolat does not have that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have the um, writing the way I want it to be. I'm going to just unpeel a little portion of the grip at this point. I'm going to look on the end of the butt cap and I, I'm always going to start not on the flat side. I'm always going to start on the corner. And by starting there, you're going to get a better feel for how it fits into your hand. Make sure you give it a decent pull as you're doing this. You don't want to rip the grip, but you want to give it a decent pull. And when you look at the grip, you'll notice that it's raised in the middle where the adhesive is, and then it tapers off to the edges. So the key to getting a good overlap is you want to just overlap the part of the grip that doesn't have adhesive. So make sure that you're overlapping the part that doesn't have adhesive. If you do it too narrow, then the adhesive is going to mound up and the part that doesn't have adhesive is going to kind of flare up and it's going to be really bad. Or if you have it too far apart, it's going to sink down and have a really big depression. So then as I'm going, I'm going to start peeling this tape away. But I want to make sure that I'm keeping my thumb. It's always best to keep your thumb on the, tip, the grip and then have your other fingers out here. And then when you move, your other thumb is going to come in and press it down. And again, I didn't remove the clear uh, plastic wrap that they, a lot of times they use that has the adhesive on because that's going to help keep this replacement grip stuck even better. There's not going to be hardly any buildup on that 
if you have excessive buildup or something, then you want to remove it, but it's going to be super thin. You're never going to notice it's even under there. So as I'm pulling this around, I'm going to make sure that I'm only overlapping the part of the grip that doesn't have any adhesive. And that's going to be a good overlap. It's only going to be a very small amount of this replacement grip that's going to overlap. That's going to give me a consistent and a very smooth grip. I don't really want to have many indentations on this. So my over grip will go on there very nicely. So I'm not going to do this as fast as I would an over grip. I'm going to take my time because this grip is going to stay on there for a long time. You know, sometimes it may be a year or more um, before you are replacing over grips or replacement grips. So you want to take your time and get it on there correctly and carefully. So that way you don't have to peel it up and go again. Because if you peel it up, you're going to lose some of that adhesive. You want it to stick. So as I'm getting near to the top, you can see now I'm getting close to the top of the, of the frame. I'm going to go over at least where the foam is onto the, uh, the graphite. And as you can see, I didn't unpeel all of the tape off the adhesive. That way it's not sticking to everything as I'm going. I'm just peeling it off as I go. Now when I get to the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take this grip to where the foam ends. Then that's where my scissors come in handy. So again, about the best scissors I found. Um, this is not a paid promotion. These are Klaus Titanium scissors. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can get those. These things cut through literally everything. Now I'm going to peel it. I'm going to see where it's straight. And then from here, I'm going to cut my grip in a straight line to create a taper. If you don't have good scissors, depending on the type of grip that you're using, it may be more difficult to cut than others. All right, now that I have a, a good taper here, so it's gonna be far more of a taper than the, on the other end. It should be flat and flush with the top of the foam. So now I've got a good edge there. So now where that edge is, I'm gonna take my grip tape, I'm gonna hold it with my thumb, I'm going to put my grip tape on that. So I'm going to get my logo lined up the way I want it. I'm going to start there. And again, this grip tape, the key too is giving it a pull. And you'll see the grip tape usually stretches out pretty good. You don't want it to break. You're going to see it stretch a little bit. Make sure you get all the paper backing off. That helps. I'm going to stretch it just a little bit there and then it's going to give me a nice finish that looks just like it's out of the factory. So after I so after I get this on here, it's going to have a nice finish. It's going to be nice and even all the way around. And then I'm going to take the rubber band I can cover that back over, and now I've got a brand new replacement grip that's nice and smooth all the way, consistent surface all the way through. I, it's not flaring up, it's not dipping down, it's gonna be nice and smooth and ready for me to put an over grip, and it's gonna feel like a brand new racket. If you like this how-to video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell so you're getting notified of all the new Hammer and Tennis videos that are coming out. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And if you have any ideas, we'd like to hear from you on more how-to videos, things that you want to know more about. Be sure to put it in the comments. Let us know. See you next time.